Good afternoon, guys, and happy Sunday. And we're about to attend the mass at Jungle Chapel. Thank you. Lang guys, sabaka. Wait lang guys, while waiting for. Thank you. Good afternoon, guys. Happy Sunday. And we're about to start the mass, guys. Thank you. Good afternoon, sisters and brothers. To preserve the solemnity of our celebration, let us please turn off our cell phones or put them on silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. We have some announcements. We invite boys who have already gone to First Communion and young professionals to join the altar servers ministry. They're the ones serving at the altar, assisting the presider at mass. You may approach the chapel office for inquiry. We invite the community to join the greeters and collectors ministry and the intercessory prayer ministry. The greeters and collectors ministry are the ones assisting the mass goers to find seats and collect offerings. The intercessory prayer ministry leads the community in prayers like the rosary and novenas before each mass. Please approach the chapel office for your inquiry. We invite you for LBS or liturgical Bible study. 
with Father Francis Gustilo, SDB, after the 6 p.m. Mass every Wednesday. Paco Catholic School, College Department, Bachelor of Arts in Religious Studies is now open for enrollees for academic year 2023 to 2024. PCS is the first parochial school in the Archdiocese of Manila with a tertiary level that aims to produce catechists and formators with professional education subjects to be eligible to take up licensure examination for teachers or let. Scholarship application is open for early enrollees. For more information, email registral at pcs.edu.ph or you may call 8563-1500, local 638 or 649. Starting May 2, 2023, after the 6 p.m. Mass, everyone is invited to join the Tuesday Praise and Worship at the Greenbelt Chapel with music, prayer, and thanksgiving. Let us find solace in the Lord, be refreshed by His love, and find hope in His powerful name. Bring your loved ones and friends. We would like to request everyone to refrain from clapping our hands at the dismissal of the Mass. Thank you. For more information, you may visit the Facebook page of the chapel, Greenbelt Chapel, Santo Nino de Paz. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is April 23, 2023, and we celebrate the third Sunday of Easter. Our presider for this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is Reverend Father Francis Gustilo, SDB. Please stand and let us join the choir in singing the entrance hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, the love that was shown by the Father for us, by His death and resurrection, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be always with you. And with your spirit. As we enter more deeply into our Easter season, we are being asked to grasp, to understand, and above all, not only to believe but live the meaning of the resurrection of the Lord. We are an Easter people ourselves, so let us celebrate this beautiful season by embracing who we are, people who live in the light. And for this, we beg pardon for the times we have entered into the darkness of faith. For encouraging us to believe in the scriptures 
that express the will of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. For joining us in our daily pilgrimage in this life and valley of tears, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And for May he bring us ever
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles apart from Jerusalem called Emmaus. And they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. Now it happened that uh, while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near, walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them, named Cleophas, said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor in, to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in, those, in these days? He replied to them, what sort of things? And they said to him, the things that happened to Jesus, the Nazarene, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people. How our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. <clears throat> but we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of us went to the tomb and found things put just as the women had described, but him they did not see. He said to them, How foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have prophets have spoken, was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with uh, Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village, to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going further. But they urged him, stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. Now it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, gave it to them. Without their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once, returned to Jerusalem where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how 
he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Para natin alam, buhay talaga si Jesus. How do we recognize the risen Christ? Nakatagpo niya na ba siya? Ba't kaya nakatingin sa akin? Have you met the risen Lord? We are sure, we believe He is alive. So if He's alive, He could be with us, correct? Have we met Him? Have we encountered Him? People who met Him are changed. They are very different. Those who really encounter Jesus, the risen Lord, they become changed. Now, the scriptures of today tell us when and how we encounter the Lord. Number one, when we open the scriptures, hindi po ang Netflix, hindi po ang TikTok. Although sometimes TikTok may put something about the gospel or probably when you open the Netflix, it's a beautiful story of a death and resurrection story. Eh, parang failure to glory. Well, that could also inspire and bring some kind of a sense of the risen Lord speaking to us. But it's entirely different when we open the Scriptures. Do you open the Scriptures? Nako. Today, we opened it. First reading, Acts of the Apostles. Second reading, responso I mean, responsorial psalm. Diba? Psalms. Second reading from letter of St. Paul. Gospel. Apat. Four times it was open to us. But in order to understand the meaning of the scripture, the church, the gathering together, and the putting together of the elements will make us recognize, interpret that this text refer to Jesus, the risen Lord. That's why if in the gospel, the disciples, Cleophas, one of them by name, was able to talk to his companion about everything that was happened in Jerusalem those days. But they were debating, they were discussing. And when Jesus came near, encountered them, but they did not recognize him, they were so astounded that he did not tell them what, he, uh, they, what they experienced in those days. He said, what sort of things? And they started to say everything about Jesus. And they were talking to the guy who is now recent, but in their mind, he was dead. In fact, they were insisting he was mighty in deed and word. He was great before God and people. Then they realized that he was crucified, sent by the religious leaders to Pilate, crucified. He died. It is. Tapos that. That's all. But then, when the women told him that they saw a vision of angels telling him, he's alive, sabi niya, weh, kalokohan na yan, hallucination. Ang problema when the men some of them went to the tomb, found as the women said, sabi nila, tapos na kami dyan. Ah, kalokohan na to. That's why they left. They went away from Jerusalem, seven miles distant. And Jesus, hindi sila inabol, tinagpo sila. 
sa kanilang kabalbalan, sa kanilang hindi kaalaman. Si Kristo, liwanag, the light. Jesus, the light, ipinaliwanag. In English, enlightened. Bakit? Kasi kung walang liwanag, hindi ka makakakita. Physically, kailangan natin ng araw. Pero, spiritually, kailangan natin ng pananampalataya. And Christ opened the scriptures. They said later on, were not our hearts burning? Ito pa isting ko, are your hearts burning? Para hindi ano? Don't listen to me. Listen to your heart. Because I'm not talking to your ears. It's the Spirit that speaks in your heart and makes it burn. That's where the Word is needed. The Word that was written by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, the same Spirit that is in us, specifically in baptism and confirmation, makes this word alive. When we listen to it, when we read it, and above all, when we are gathered together as an assembly on Sunday. This is a moment, what we have been doing until now is a moment to encounter the Lord. So please, be present. Huwag sabihin sa pare, kailan po ba late ako sa misa? Ang tanong dyan, kailan late pag ikaw ay papunta sa ibang bansa sa aeroplano? Eh, nagsarahan yung aeroplano, tapos. Pag nagsimula ang entrance, ang entrance song, late ka na. Hindi ka na makapasok, di ba, sa aeroplano? Bakit? Napakahalaga ng readings every Sunday. Every Sunday. Eh, ngayon, season. Tuhog-tuhog po yan. Tuhog-tuhog yan. Nagsimula tayo kay John, Easter Sunday, John uli. Ngayon, look na. Tutugtog yan. Pero meron pang isang instance. Another way to encounter the Lord. The breaking of the bread. Where they recognized Him, but He, he vanished from their sight. Imagine, they were the ones who invite, Lord, can you stay with us this evening? Because they thought He was going away. He said, sure. They were the host. Jesus was the guest. But it was Jesus who served the bread. He took the bread. He said a blessing. Broke it. Gave it. The Eucharist. When the priest says, the night before he died, and went willingly to his passion, he took bread, said a blessing, broke it, and gave it. I hope you recognize. Because when you kneel or put your right hand over your heart, you acknowledge this is Jesus alive. You just imagine, brothers and sisters, Live stream mas lang ka tayo. Fine. Pwede mo rin ito makita eh. On your cozy, comfortable house. Kasi 45 degrees, ang init-init. But you know, the breaking of the bread is that Jesus gave it to them, shared it to them. And that will happen in the Eucharistic communion. That's the encounter with Jesus. Not just listening to this what we would call Eucharistic words, but saying, the body of Christ. And you say, Amen. There you encounter Jesus. Wag po kayo mag-born again. Wag po kayo mag-CCF, Victory Church. Walang the body of Christ. They have the scriptures. But I don't know how they interpret it. But here, help by the church to interpret it properly. Kasi ano yung gospel reading? Inulit naman kay St. Peter ah, sa Acts. He proved to them from the prophets, he used David, Jesus used Moses and all the prophets, all the scripture, 
Peter talk about David. And sabi niya si David, sinabi doon, the Lord will not allow him, this Christ will not allow him to remain in the netherworld among the dead and his body have corruption. And Peter said, that's the meaning that Jesus is raised from the dead. He was not allowed to be part of the corruption of this world. And that's the responsorial psalm. The same words. So, interpreting the scripture also, Peter, but dun lang, wala tayong breaking of the bread. Later on, it will be said in the same chapter of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2. But seven, alam niyo kapatid, dalawa na, dalawa na. Dalawang paraan na ating makikilala, makakatagpo si Kristo, tayo magbasa, tayo makinig, tayo magpayag sa Panginoon, ipaliwanag sa atin, sa isip, sa damdamin, lalo na sa pagsasama sa misa, uh, maipaliwanag na siya nga ang Panginoon. Pero napakahalaga yung pangalagawang parte. The breaking of the bread and the communion. May pangatlo. Ano yung pangatlo? Alam niyo ang pangatlo? Hindi pa? Okay, alam na kamay niyo. Pari, God na ubasin. Upo kayo. May, pagka, may pagkatama ng konti sabi niyo. Upo kayo. God bless. Hindi, Sabi niya, papunta na daw yung bus. Eh, tama siya eh. Go. Bumalik. Yung dalawang humiwalay, bumalik. Na meron silang nga takatagpo, meron silang good news. Pangatlong beses, yan ang challenge ngayon. Pagkatapos ng breaking of the word, breaking of the bread, Palabas na ang bus. Go. Bukas, ipamahagi niyo si Kristo na inyong nakatagpo dito. Sisters and brothers, nasa mall tayo. Ang lakas dyan ng consumerism, itong simbahan, hindi for consumerism. Ang consumeristic Christian ay, nakasimba na ako. Okay. Ganda ng kantahan dito sa Greenbelt. Malaki yung mga electric fan. Hindi masyadong pawis kami. Okay. Maganda mga sermon dito ng pare. Fine. Tapos? Wala. Sayang naman. Eh baka sa opsina, hindi subimba pero katoliko. Ibalita nyo. Sabihin nyo, nakatagpo ko siya. Sa tingin nila, baliw ka, mas mabuti pang baliw ka kesa pipi ka. Mas mabuti pa na akalain baliw ka kesa pipi ka. Bakit? Dahil dito, si Kristo yung kinakatagpo tayo. Kasi maraming iba, hindi niya kinakatagpo. Bakit? Ang dami naman yung alipores eh. Bakit niya kakatagpuin bawat isa? Eh kayo ang kaibigan nila. Tayo ang kasama nila. Sabihin nyo sa inyong asawa na hindi nagsisimba. Sabihin nyo sa inyong anak na millennial kung hindi nagsisimba. Nakatagpo ko siya. O ngayon, last point. Sabi, Nay, nakatagpo nga si Kristo? Ikaw? Oo. Oh! Kumpit ang sungit mo pa rin. Ayan, patay. Paano ka pwedeng maging masungit uli at eh, nakatagpo mo? Hindi ka pala nagbabago. You know? Bago good news, goodness. Diba S is before W? Spelling nyo good news. Isa lang at goodness. Isa lang titik ang iba. W at saka S. Goodness. Good news. Magandang balita. Una muna, magandang asal. A, bago B. Tatlong paraan na si Kristo'y buhay. Sa salita niya, sa kanyang katawan, 
at sa kanyang tinatawan. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With hearts set afire by the word of God that has just been proclaimed and explained, he is now really present among us. And so let us give our response by asking petitions for all the needs of our family and mankind. Our response is, abide with us, Lord. Abide with us, Lord. For the Church, the custodian of God's Word, may she constantly explain it with clarity so that the minds of people may be enlightened and their hearts motivated to put it into practice. Let us pray. Abide with yes, us, Lord. Lord. For the Holy Father and the other leaders of the Church, through their teaching, May they lead us to an ever greater awareness of the reality of the resurrection and its relevance to our lives. Let us pray. Abide with us, Lord. For all parents and teachers, in imitation of the risen Christ, may they fill the hearts of their children and pupils with peace, joy, and the desire to become better persons. Let us pray. Abide with us, Lord. For all those who feel crushed by life's setbacks and disappointments, may they find in the risen Christ the enlightenment and encouragement experienced by his two disciples of Emmaus. Let us pray. Abide with us, Lord. For all of us who participate in this Eucharistic celebration, May we be fully aware of the presence of the risen Christ in it and experience the urge to proclaim the good news to people near and far. Let us pray. Abide with us, Lord. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Abide with us, Lord. Lord Jesus, living and risen God, thank you for allowing us to encounter you this Sunday together with our community of believers. Bless our all petitions and journey with us so that we may be leaven in the world of today. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, my sisters, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual joy through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we'll lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you O lord but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when christ our passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has arisen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, even the heavenly powers, angels, and saints. Together they sing the unending hymn of your glory as we join them. For those who cannot kneel, please put your right hand on your chest as a sign of reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the moment of our second encounter 
with the risen Lord. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which is given up for you. In a similar manner, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We have recognized the risen Lord, and so we say the mystery of our faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and celebration and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, Cardinal Advincula, our Archbishop, his assistant bishops, the clergy, and all our lay leaders. Remember as well our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, our own martyrs, Lorenzo Ruiz and Pedro Calusod, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Confident in the Lord's goodness, we pray as His Son taught us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name, Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O oh, yes, deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. So please look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her, our own families and neighborhoods, this community of Christians in the Greenbelt Chapel, and our country, the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of Christ be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer now each other the sign of peace.
Sisters, brothers, the risen Lord who broke bread for us that we may be able to share his love to those around us. So blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For a solemn reception of communion, we'll do it row by row. Please follow the guidance of our ushers. For those outside the chapel, extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion will be stationed near the bridges to distribute Holy Communion. Kindly form two lines before them. Thank you. 
Let us all stand, let us pray. O, o Lord, look with kindness upon your people. Grant, we pray, that those you have pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may obtain in their flesh its incorruptible glory, the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tinagpo po tayo ng ating Panginoon. Bigay niyo siya sa inyong kapwa. Let us, all, let us now go and give His love to each other. Thanks be to God. Kumayo di hayag purihin siya at ating ibunyag awitan siya pagliligtas ng Diyos na na yung internet ko, tapos naka-steady lang ako dun sa camera. Pasensya na po, need to, need to, uh, ayusin ko lang po ito and uh, siguro baka need to end na lang. Pasensya na po, thank you so much sa mga umatend. Actually, ang focus ko naman talaga is to attend mass. So, to say, be to listen to and attend a mass today. So, maraming maraming salamat. This is Nel Dibaldubi, you guys are about to sign off. Asensya na po, asensya na. Thank you. Thank you po. Maraming maraming salamat at happy Sunday po. Ayan, medyo ulan na naman sa Makati. Thank you. Ingat po.